Uh oh, a former aide on Meghan Markle has broken her silence regarding the bullying report. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry begin their rebrand to make everything all good, thank goodness for people like this former aide. And man, I wish uh, this Samantha Cohen would reach out to us. I've had a lot of people reach out to me about Meghan and Harry, people who have known them. And I implore anybody else, if you're watching this channel and you're thinking about it, I assure you we can keep it in confidence. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, uh, email me, popcornplanet at gmail. Uh, hit me up. Hit me up. My DMs are open, and I'd love to speak to these people because it's always fascinating to hear the truth, and it's why I've continued to really lean in on this reporting because, look, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are absolute frauds, and this new rebrand that they're doing is so scary because it's allowing them to sort of get away with this idea that they're these really charitable, kind people, and they are hypocritical bullies, narcissistic sociopaths in my mind, Megan more, even more so than Harry. Uh, but this bullying report, which as Lady C said, and I believe it will probably never see the face of day. They just legally can't. These are private employee records that we're not going to see, but it's nice to see one of her most serious aides, long-term aides has broken her science and come forward. And while she doesn't really spill too much tea, she does still respectfully spill some tea. Uh, she talks about it and, and, and how she talks about it is very like matter of fact and fair. This comes in from the Herald Sun. She did an interview and uh, she didn't like confirm or elaborate on what was in the bully report. Was she bullied? She's not going to go there. It seems I wish she would. Samantha, I'm begging you, please hit us up. Uh, but she said enough to imply in my point of view, she could easily look, you could have easily said I wasn't bullied, but here's what she said. Here's what she said. I was only supposed to say stay for six months, but stayed for 18. We couldn't find a replacement for me. And when we did, we took them on tour to Africa with Harry and Meghan to show them the ropes, but they left quit as well while in Africa, she told the publication. Uh, so again, this, this is, this is bad because she's admitting she wanted to go. She was supposed to stay, but she stayed longer, but she couldn't find people. The turnover rate was too high. This woman could have easily said, no, 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 no comment. But I, I do want to reiterate, I was not bullied. It's very, I, I was not bullied by Megan. She's a wonderful person. If you want to just, you know, actually kill a story, that's what you do. But she didn't kill a story, did she? She came forward, added details without killing the story. And to me, that speaks volumes. Because I don't know about you, if you actually had a nice relationship with someone you, you worked with, you'd want to stomp out any rumors, right? You'd want to be out there and be like, oh, no, 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 that's not true. I, I've seen those reports. I, I don't want to engage. I'm not going to engage in the report or anything about it, but I do want to say Meghan Markle was a delightful employer and I wish her all the best. There's nothing stopping her from saying that. There's nothing stopping this woman from being positive. So take that as you will. And anybody who wants to sort of follow, no, Megan denied it. It's not true. It's a hit campaign. No, this woman seems delightful, professional, and if you read the book Couriers, which we're going to go through in a second, man, it looks ugly. Now, as we have know from the past, Jason Knuff was then the uh, communications secretary for Meghan and Harry. Uh, document sent to Prince William's then secretary, Simon Case, in 2018, Mr. Knuff wrote that he was very concerned that the Duchess was able to bully two PAs out of the household in the past year and that the treatment of a worker was totally unacceptable. Cohen, who served as Queen Elizabeth's press secretary for 17 years, and then as her assistant and private secretary, last worked within the palace for Harry and Meghan before quitting royal service altogether in 2019. And then uh, more allegations come out in Valentine's book, which we have some uh, snippets of. Uh, so Samantha Cohen was uh, there to help Team Sussex. Um She'd already handed her notice at Buckingham Palace in solidarity with Sir Christopher Geet, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, who had been ousted the previous year after a fallout with Clarence House, intensely loyal to the Queen for whom she had worked first in the press office, rising to become communications secretary. Cohen had agreed to stay on to look after the Commonwealth heads of government meeting. Then, just as Cohen was preparing to leave after 17 years, the Queen, who had high regard for her, asked her to stay on and help Harry and Meghan. 
This was not the queen imposing her own stooge on the newlyweds. Instead, it was the queen coming to the rescue by persuading one of her most valued members of staff to guide them through their first six months of married life. Cohen was one of the most popular and well-regarded members of the queen's household. And Elstrain had been a media advisor for the prime minister, John Howard, back home. She had been recruited to the palace as an assistant press secretary after a spell working on the UK. Anyway, you get the gist. Very, very legit person. As everyone calls her, Sam arrived with great advantage. Harry knew her well already, as did William, and he was fond of her. Feeling was re re reciprocated. Even though she was not planning to stay beyond the spring, the ever loyal Cohen was determined to make her new job work. Harry was initially very enthusiastic. Sam was trying to make it happen, but she was soon to discover that making Harry and making Harry and Meghan happy was a bigger challenge than anticipated. The book goes on and explains how hard, you know, a lot of the, the accusations and things that have come out, uh, how they two of the staffers were bullied, names that are withheld, where they're going to leave. Uh, he expressed currents of his own standing. This is Knuff. His concerns uh, whether he's going to be there and suggest that Sam Sam could also struggle to cope. I asked Sam Carruthers, head of HR, what would happen if the Duchess turned on me next, as it seemed possible given her behavior in recent weeks. I asked what would be done to make sure Sam Cohen feels supported. I raised the very real possibility that she could be struggling with severe stress and could have to walk away from her position. Knopf concluded by saying Carruthers agreed with me on all accounts. The situation was very serious. I remain concerned that nothing will be done. Uh, after the Times reported the bullying allegations, two and a half years later, a number of sources came forward to back up Knopf's claim. Two senior members of staff claimed they were bullied by the Duchess. Another aide claimed the treatment felt like emotional cruelty and manipulation, which I guess could be also called bullying. One source said that Samantha had been bullied. Another source said they treated her terribly. Nothing was ever good enough. She doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. She's failing. In fact, the source said Cohen was a saint and the best organizer of royal tours they'd ever known. The Duchess's lawyer has denied all this. Cohen uh, that that Cohen was bullied, saying the couple was always very grateful for support and dedication. She remains very close to the Duke and Duchess. Then why is she making comments right now? Uh, anyway, I, as you read through this book, which has a lot of stuff, it it, it doesn't doesn't read good doesn't read well for these two. Why is this woman an aide who is a professional clearly, and is not really speaking too far out of tune, not more than you two have Megan and Harry. Uh, why does she feel compelled to do this right now? What is bothering her? I will tell you this. Cause I, I, I wish I could say so much more. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting, but some people just aren't comfortable coming forward yet because of this control that Megan and Harry have. And a lot of people don't want to go down that road. But from what I've gathered, a lot of people feel very used, manipulated, and frustrated by them. And there's no accountability. There's no attempt for grace or remorse. No, just how do I climb on to the next one? And I sense this is the year. I do. I sense this is the year that some of those people will stand up, will have the strength to come forward, not to be bullies themselves, not to pile on and attack someone, but to share the truth that this woman, Megan, Harry, they are charlatans. They are not these uh, posh, charitable heroes. No, they're not. They're dastardly people who should have to go back to actual work. Enough is enough. We should not be peddling them as role models. What they've done each to their own separate families is despicable. And I'm sick of celebrating them. And I applaud Samantha, Samantha, Sam, for doing this. I, my goodness, we're trying to reach out. If anybody knows a lead to get there, please tap us off. With any leads who know these two, we got a lot in the pipeline. I'd love to bring it all together. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Make sure you don't miss it. Smash the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below. Are you surprised? I, look, I am surprised to see an aide of this stature even comment at all. And again, I stand by the fact, if this was untrue, it's such an easy thing to squash. And why wouldn't she if it's true, if it's not true, right? Why not say, oh, no, they're lovely. This is nonsense. She's not saying that. Instead, she's confirming a lot of other details on their turnover rate. Not a good look, Harry and Meghan. Deny it all you want, but man, you guys are in trouble. Share your comments down below. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Let's get to 100,000 subs here on Popcorn Palace.